A celebrity divorce turns ugly when reality star David Tatera and his husband split. But what's really raising eyebrows is that these men will split their kids too. Did I mention their babies are twins? David Tatera talked about it on ABC's The View. We transferred two embryos. Two embryos were transferred into the surrogate. One was biologically mine, which is my daughter, Cielo, and one is biologically his, his son. And the fact is, is that they are half, half brother and sister, but they aren't full brother and sister. How do you feel about their decision? Could you split your kids? All right, this sounds drastic, doesn't it? Divorcing couples splitting up and splitting up their kids. Twins who are only a few months old. David Tatera, reality star and host of Wee's Unveiled, and his longtime partner, Ryan Jerrica, were married in a civil ceremony 10 years ago. About three years ago, they decided to have children through a surrogate. But by the time the babies were born, the couple had split. In just a moment, I'm going to speak with Ryan Jerrica and his attorney in Ryan's first TV interview. So glad they're here. But first, want to listen to David Tatera as he makes the big announcement on his show, Unveiled. I'm thinking this is the perfect opportunity for me to share my good news. First of all, thank you so much, everybody, for being here. Since it's my birthday, I thought, what better time to sort of make a new announcement. I'm going through a lot of changes in my life, new beginnings, but one that I'm very excited about, I'm going to be having a baby. Oh, my God. Well, their divorce isn't final yet, but they have made this decision. David Tatera keeps his biological daughter, Cielo. Ryan Jerrica keeps his biological son, Cedric. Ryan Jerrica and his attorney, Bentonina Hinton, join me now exclusively. Uh, Ryan, again, I saw a picture of your son. How is he doing? He's doing wonderful. Thank you. Uh, you saw the twins being born. Is that right? And, and what was that like for you? Oh, best day of my life by far. Um, yeah, I moved out of state where the surrogate was living and uh, lived there for almost two months. Mm -hmm. She was on hospital bed rest and then um, stayed there for three weeks and then the kids were born. I was there for the delivery and stayed in the NICU with my son for three weeks until we got to go home. And Ryan, do you feel at all that you um, lost a daughter in this divorce? Oh, absolutely. I still feel like I lost a daughter. Uh, do you hope that you can establish a relationship and what do you hope to happen? I hope the kids can be in each other's lives as much as possible and that's what I'm working hard to do. And uh, Cielo is uh, David's daughter, your daughter as well. I want to play now um, David on The View talking about uh, his little girl. Let's listen. When you start thinking you're going to have... That's my little girl! Oh my gosh. <laughs> so, you know, we went through it in hopes, at least I can speak for myself, in hopes that the relationship would get better and having a family would make it better. Uh, so, Ryan, uh, is David the one who made the decision to separate the twins? Uh, he did, yes. And how did that come about? Um, it actually came about months ago when we separated and knew that we were going to head to a divorce. And, uh, and he said, he goes, well, we know that the boy is yours and the girl is mine and you can have your son and I'll have my daughter and we can move on with our lives. Are you happy with that decision? I'm still sad with that decision. And I know that you've reached out to David and you would like to uh, mend fences, if you will, and get along for the sake of the twins. Do you stand by the allegations you made uh, regarding sex addiction and prostitutes? You know, everything that um, happened in the marriage, David knows. And he knows what ended the marriage and it's complex and there's a lot of lot of legs to it. Mm -hmm. um, I've forgiven him for everything he did in the marriage. I haven't forgiven him everything that's happened with the kids. Um, but I'll get there. I think it's key and it's uh, part of the healing process to forgive. It looks like you've gotten there with the divorce, not so much with the kids. This is David talking about uh, the allegations against him. When you start flinging things around that are, first of all, false, it's absolutely not true. I don't really understand why that's done. The only thing I can think of is that it's done because of being upset about going through a divorce. The, pr the process of the divorce has been quite challenging. And we do want to point out we reached out to David Tatera for a comment multiple times. He said no comment. Want to go back now to Ryan. Uh, what do you think of when you look at David and you hear what he's saying in denying the allegations against him? Um, you know, David's used to being on camera. I'm not. I was always behind camera, supporting, protecting. Um, I think he's trying to protect himself now and spin things any way that he can. Do you know 
or do you have a plan on what you will tell uh, Cedric, your little boy, in the future? Um, you know, I plan to tell Cedric everything. I think honesty is the, the only way to live. Um, obviously, it's going to have to wait until he's old enough. It's a very complex and complicated story, mm -hmm. both how he came into this world and my past and my divorce. So mm -hmm. it, it's a lot to talk about, and, um, and he's going to find out about it. And you know what? He'll probably be able to find out a lot sooner because he'll figure out how to Google. <laughs> exactly. That's all you need to know these yeah. days. Would you like to say anything uh, to David in regards to your uh, twins or anything else regarding the divorce? Um, well, we have been communicating a little bit here and there the past couple of weeks, and we're both agreeing that they need to be in each other's lives as much as possible, and however we get there, we'll get there. But, you know, we still have a lot to deal with in the divorce, and, you know, we'll get there and we'll get through with everything. So, you know, I hope that it remains that way. I still want to be friends. Mm -hmm. I want the kids to know each other as much as possible, and I want to, um, to, to start a friendship with David. I really do. That's mm -hmm. how we kind of, you know, evolved in the marriage. It's, you know, 15 years together, working together, living together, married, almost 10. Next mm -hmm. week would have been our 10-year anniversary. Um, th there's a lot of history there. Well, Ryan, I appreciate you coming on during this difficult Thank time you. to clear um, a lot of things up, and I think you've done that, and you have the cutest little boy and girl that I've seen Thank in a while. You. Thanks so much. Thank Good you. to meet you.